This video was brought to you by the ILC. Hello there once again, welcome to episode 47. In the last few episodes, we've solved systems of equations using a matrix. This time I'm going to show you a different method that you should use to solve systems that can't be solved with a matrix. It's called the substitution method. Let's have a look at it. Alright, our system this time says x squared plus y squared equals 1 and x plus y equals 1. Notice that you have second power equations in the first line and first power equations in the second line. When the powers are mixed up like this, it's not a good idea to use a matrix. Instead, we're going to use what's called the substitution method. The first thing we'll do is select a letter to eliminate. And then solve for that letter. So let's say I wanted to eliminate y. So let's look at the y's. One of them is y squared, and one of them is y to the first power. The one that's going to be easier to solve for is the y to the first power, right here. So let's first try to solve for that letter. Well, we have y on the left, we just need to move the x. And if we do that, we'll end up with y equals 1 minus x. Now that we know this, we will go to the first equation and replace y with this expression that we found. All right, so in the first equation we have x squared plus y squared equals 1, but we're going to replace y with the parentheses. In the parentheses we're going to put the 1 minus x. So we have x squared plus 1 minus x still squared equals 1. Our next step will be to solve the equation we just wrote. Let's try to simplify first. When you have a binomial squared you have to FOIL it so you'll have x squared plus 1 minus x times 1 minus x equals 1. Let's FOIL this together. We'll still have x squared plus 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative x is minus x. Minus x times 1 is another minus x and negative x times negative x gives plus x squared and then the equal sign and then 1. Now if we look at our equation we can see that it is a second power equation and remember for a second power equation you need to move everything to the same side. So let's also subtract the 1 from both sides. This will cancel out this 1 and cancel out this 1, leaving a 0 on the right. Let's see what we have left. We have x squared, and x squared makes 2x squared. Negative x and negative x makes negative 2x equals 0. Now we factor. Let's see what they have in common. They both have 2 and they both have x. So let's factor out 2x from both terms. If we factor out 2x from the first term, the 2 goes away and one of the x's goes away, leaving us with x. The last term just says 2x. If we factor that out, all we have left is minus 1 equals 0. And we'll solve both pieces. We'll have 2x equals 0 as our first piece, and x minus 1 equals 0 for our second piece. 
leaving us with x equals 0 and x equals 1. These are our two x values. However, it's not enough just to get x. Once you have x, you also have to get y. We can use either of the equations to do that, but the bottom equation has just first power. Typically those are easier to solve. We've also already written that y is simply 1 minus x. So let's try x equals 0. Since y is equal to 1 minus x, y is equal to 1 minus 0, which is 1. Therefore our first answer is 0 comma 1. When x is 0, y is 1. Now try x equals 1, our other solution. If x equals 1, y is 1 minus x. So we have 1 minus 1 equals 0. So our other answer is 1 comma 0. Here's x and here's y. So when you answer the question you'll give both this point and this point. Again, it's not enough just to say the x's, we have to say the x and y as ordered pairs. That's all there is to this problem. We'll see you again next episode.